Welcome, I'm Joe from Della Vita. The most important thing about dough is, is not to roll it. The way our dough is made is you've got organic flour, you've got filtered water, you've got live yeast, and you've got Himalayan salt. As soon as you go and use a roller on a dough, you completely kill all the yeast, which means that you've just defeated the whole object of, of why you're using it. And what you'll find is when we're doing this together, this is just as quick as rolling it, but when you taste it, it's really light on the palate and, it, and it's really, really flavoured. All you do is, when you're picking the dough up, always pick it from underneath and then simply just dip it in some flour. Just put a load of flour down, so don't be shy on the flour when you're trying to mix it. What I'm doing is I'm going all the way around the dough and can you see I'm leaving this gap? So the reason why I'm doing that is that's going to be our crust for the pizza. As long as you get that like kind of pie shape, that's what you want. That's beautiful. And once you've done that, what we're going to do is in the center, we're just gonna split it out like that. So we're trying to flatten it out a bit. So now we've done that, if we grab some extra flour, so just grab a handful of flour, with one hand and we're just going to pop it down onto the surface. And what we're going to do is put it upside down. So now we're going to repeat the same identical thing. So we're going to go all the way around and then in the centre we're just going to spread it out just like we did earlier. So the next step is, if you just watch me a second, what I'm doing is, you see my thumbs here? So what I'm doing is I'm bringing it close and I'm letting the gravity just allowing it to drop. But can you see I'm still allowing that crust to be maintained. And when you're doing it, what you'll find is you'll actually hear a popping noise and that's the actual yeast inside the dough which is just popping away. We've got a 10 inch pizza and we've not had to throw it in the air yet. So, so that's nice and simple now. What we're going to do, can you see that? So all we're doing is stretching it and bring it round, stretching it and bring it round, stretching it and bring it round. And there's our 12 inch pizza. So now we've done that, what we need to do is get rid of some of the uh, flour which is on the pizza. So what you do is you simply go like that. So now we've got that, what we've got is the way we put the sauces on. And the sauce has to be cold, not warm, when you put it on pizza. If you put it on warm, it's just going to melt straight through the dough. So just make sure that if you do make a sauce, you just let it completely cool down. But when you put it on the pizza, what you'll find is um, you've literally got a minute to put the sauce on, put the toppings on, and put it straight into the oven. If you let it sit, the sauce is going to soak through into the dough, which then you'll really struggle to get it off the peel. So I'm going to start off with a really, really simple one. It's, it's my favourite, which is just olive oil. You always use the bottom of a spoon to spread it out. We want to leave about that much of a gap around the actual dough. Himalayan salt, and then we're going to use some onions, which is right here. And we are talking about simply just a sprinkle of other onions. Everyone, when they try and pick a pizza up, they always try and pick it up like that. But you just simply just have it straight onto the peel. So literally lift it when you're trying to get under, but then just, just try and get under and just give it a nudge. And then just grab the front of it and just put, drag it up to you. Do you guys want to see how this works? We go in and we just shuffle it, and we just let it drop into, into the pizza. So what you'll notice is, because we've hand stretched it, can you see how the dough is actually already rising? And what you'll notice is the edging of the pizza, of the, of the crust at the back has started to rise. So your telltale sign is 20 seconds. So every 20 seconds you need to turn it. So we're now ready to turn that. So you just go underneath it and you bring it round. So with any oven, you always have to turn it every 20 seconds. Okay, so guys, so that is what you call properly cooked. So, 
Pizza. How much do you love pizza? But how is it? What do you think? How is, are you shocked? Because um, everyone is quite shocked on how simple that pizza is. But then when you try it, it's pretty amazing. <laughs>